hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're just watching me for the first time my name is lizzie you're welcome back once again to this channel returning subscribers thank you guys for always coming back to watch my videos i love you all so much if you are new here please don't forget to hit the subscribe button if this video helps you in any way at all so today i am going to show you all how to tie the simplest kind of gaily ever like just in case you are running out of time you have an event and i am running out of time this is your go-to like this particular gilly is very very simple to tie so the first thing i'm going to do is to fold the edge of the gilly just fold it in just to make sure that it's not rough just exactly how i did it in this video next up i'm going to turn the mannequin to the back one hand of the gilly has to stay on top and the other has to stay under then i'm going to move the mannequin to the front like this just the same way that i'm tying on the mannequin is the same way you will tie for a client or or a model next up i'm going to arrange the ghillie properly to make sure that it's neat at the front after that i'm going to pick one hand of the ghillie like this and i am going to start making pleats so make sure that your pleats are neat and they are properly made so the rule for this particular ghillie today is 70 30 you can make one hand really long and you can make one hand really really short so this I am actually tying on a mannequin right now and it can really really be slippery unlike when you're tying on a model or a client you could actually ask them to hold the ghillie for you so that it doesn't unravel or fall that's what i mean by unravel so right now i'm just making pleats and um not really in a precise manner the pleats are going to be behind each other just take your pleats one by one one by one from the ear of your model or your mannequin to the middle of the head as simple as that just keep doing that make sure that the pleats each pleat is behind each other like every pleat you make should fall behind each other now if you want to go extra mile by placing the pleats on top of each other it will be very very nice that's good for you if you have en enough time on your hands but if you don't just place them behind each other and you are good to go which is what i am doing right now so i'm going to continue making the place until i reach the end of the fabric so guys at this point i am done i'm just going to make the last place i'll place it like this make sure that everything is properly done and it's neatly done so right now i am going to place the last pleats that i have right here on top the first one bring it to the front like this and just pin it to make sure that everything is secured so after pinning i am going to arrange the pleats properly arrange the ghillie properly so that it doesn't fall off and so that everything looks good and nice then after doing that i'm going to turn to the other hand of the ghillie and i am just going to pick that hand up and twist it and then after twisting i am going to knot it at the middle very very simple easy peasy guys easy peasy i'm just going to twist it then bring it to the place where i ended the where i stopped making pleats for the first hand of the ghillie and then i'm just going to place my hand in between the two fabrics i'm going to place both hands in between the two fabrics like this and i am just going to knot it at the middle just the same way that you can see me do i am going to knot at the middle and i'll knot two times to make sure that everything does not fall off at any point at all so once you're done doing that make sure that you arrange you neatly arrange the place that you've knotted down make sure that you arrange it properly so that they don't see your loose finishing and the ends of the ghillie so i'm just going to arrange everything properly the way you can see me do in this video so that it looks nice and neat
so guys once you're done this is what your ghillie should look like so i'm going to move over to the back right now and then i'm just going to close the back of the ghillie i feel like when you close the back of the ghillie it makes you look more elegant you know and more beautiful so i'm just going to twist the remaining hand of the ghillie at the back like this and i am going to pin it to make sure that the back is neatly done and to make sure that it looks good just pin everything So once you're done pinning at the back, this is what your ghillie should look like at the front. This is very, very simple. Just in case you're in haste, you're already late for an event. This particular ghillie should be your go-to. You can tie this in like five to ten minutes max. Like it's very, very simple. Thank you guys for watching this video. I do hope that it was helpful. If it was, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button, like and share. I remain your girl Lizzie. If you've not turned on your notification button, please do that so that each time I post you get a notification and you will definitely be the first to know I love you guys so much and I will see you all in my next video please don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Lizzie's Touch L-H-I C-H-I apostrophe S and Touch also on TikTok same with L-H-I C-H-I apostrophe S and Touch I love you guys so much and I will see you all in my next video bye